I have a bunch of companies that can keep me with 40 hours a week, no problem. Rand Stash, Spartan, Labor Ready, Pay Setters, um, um, Liberty Staffing, Adeco, Spartan Staffing, just to name a few. All of them come can keep me with 40 hours a week, occasional overtime. All of them offer me Medicaid at a high price, just for me to meet the requirements of the Health Care Act. You know what I'm saying? I could end up my bank account right now and buy a car just to get back and forth to them to them jobs. But let's look at the whole picture. You buy a car, you know what I'm saying? Now you got a car, you got insurance, that's another bill. Let's say you get a good year out of the car before you need maintenance on a used car. Okay, you got a car for a good year. Now you got two extra bills, the the insurance, gas every have an author even put gas in the car just to get back and forth to work and whatever else I decide to do on a daily basis. You feel me? Now, you making the money, but the thing is, most of those, all, most or all of those companies I just named, the minimum they can offer you is nine dollars is, is is eight ten minimum wage. The most they can offer you is nine. Probably a couple of them get you a job for nine fifty an hour. You know. Now let's look at this. Let's, 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 let's look at the whole situation now. Let's say after a year and a half, that car break down. And that year and a half, you already a year and a half behind on your original plan. So you went on with option B and got a car. Now let's say after a year and a half of having this car, it breaks down. Now you got another bill in your hand. You also got to find a good mechanic to fix on the car because we all know most of these mechanics just in it for the money. So now the extra money that you were saving for, for a better career, a better move or whatever, now that money got to go toward getting this car fixed. So now you have, now you further away from the original plan. That's why I say put that little temporary stuff on hold and stay focused on what's important. For me, I want to break the cycle. Of, I want to break the, the revolving cycle of my life by going without right now. Yeah, I'm going without a car. You know what I mean? But once I make this move, once I once I finish getting this career that I'm going after right now, I'm gonna have all that instead of having all that temporary stuff, a car temporary, a, a temporary place to stay, temporary jobs. When I'm done getting this career I'm going after right now. I will have a career until either A, I'm ready to retire, or B, until the day I die. I will have stable transportation then to the day I die and better stable places to live until the day I die. See, you gotta, you gotta let out everything you like right there. Go without it. If you truly 100% for sure know in your mind that what you work, what you working towards to build something better, it's really going to pay off. And you know that for a fact. Stay focused on it. Stay focused on it. Don't stay in this revolving cycle where you steady dealing with dead-end jobs that can't offer you nothing but a paycheck and, and benefits at a high price. Don't stay in no jobs like that. Don't, don't, don't settle for, for, for unstable places to stay. But you, you gonna, you gonna, as long as you're going through the same, you're going to continue to break. You're going to continue to live in that cycle. Break that cycle. Great that second. That's why me, I don't mind going without a car right now. I don't mind. Cause I know what I'm gonna have down the road. I know what's in store for me down the road once I get these CDLs in my pocket. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can make all that happen more. Then I will have a career forever, a stable place to stay forever, my own transportation forever. You know? See when you talk about stuff like that, when you talk about bettering yourself and doing and and, and, and going past what life offering you. People look at it like you're crazy. That's not a normal conversation to them. That's not normal thinking to them because the whole world is content with just getting by, just doing, just doing the minimum. You gotta go past the minimum in life. You want more than what you deserve. You you really want your share of the power of life. You gotta go on beyond the duty. You gotta do something you never done before. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do something you never done before. So this is what I'm doing to break the cycle in my life. Think about what you need to do 
to break the cycle in your life.